Uh, this is going to be a video demo to show the UH system application for applying to the post-baccalaureate certificate in special education. Um, so what you see here is the apply now page on the website for the post -bac program. And so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the UH Minoa system application form, and you're going to want to click on this link right here. Um, so this is a brand new application. If you have already submitted your application under the old version, that's fine. They will be um, accepting both forms for this enrollment period. However, I do find that this new application is probably a lot um, easier and faster to complete. So I wanted to give a video demo on how to do that. So click on the link. Um, it's going to take you to the admissions webpage with the new application. Um, so I had already kind of pre-populated some information, but this is what you're going to see. So the first step is you need to just give the information about you. Um, so put in your name, things like that, phone number, birth and social security number. I just threw in whatever. Um, your address. Now here, your family. Um, this uh, is not required. And in fact, I'm just recommending you go ahead and skip it. Um, they use this to kind of send out um, information to parents on, you know, why uh, they should send uh, you or to UH Manoa. So it really doesn't apply for post -bac students. Um, so just skip it. Don't even click on anything. So what happens is I clicked on one parent guardian, um, or you could click on two and it would show two, um, but you don't actually need to fill out any of this. So you can just leave it blank. Make sure you uh, do fill in for your citizenship. And then ethnicity is optional, and then other background is optional. Although we do like to collect ethnicity data as part of the university um, because we are one of the most diverse institutions in the country. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so that's that's up to you. So you would fill out that first. Um, once you're done, it you're gonna have to go down and go to step two, which is your academics. And this is where you're gonna talk about your program. So definitely make sure you choose fall 2020 uh, because that's the only time we enroll for this particular program. Don't worry about this section on how many credits do you expect to transfer. That is more for um, undergraduate bachelor candidates. So just leave it blank. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to come down here. And what's interesting is uh, they had to add the post-baccalaureate certificates afterwards and so you'll actually see it's not in alphabetical order that our post -bac certificates are listed at the very bottom and so you're just going to choose the last program available which will be post baccalaureate certificate in special education so again the only tricky thing is it's the only ones that are not in alphabetical order so you'll just find it at the very bottom of the list um and then if you are from uh the west coast um, it's possible that you would qualify under the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program or the WUI. Um, you can click on here to find out which states qualify and it just provides a reduced tuition cost. So you could just say yes if you do qualify under one of those states. Um, and then for this section for the college information, this is where you're going to list all the different institutions that you've attended. Um, you can list up to four schools. Keep in mind that um, for every school that you've attended that's not part of the UH system, so UH system being UH Hilo, UH Manoa, UH West Oahu, and then all the community colleges, um, you're going to need to send official transcripts. Even if you've already transferred it to Manoa or in somewhere in the past, you're going to need to go back and get the original ones from those other institutions. So what's cool about this new application is it will literally um, search. You can just start typing and it's going to auto populate and you can just click on it um, and then you just add in this additional information. And if it turns out that you've attended somewhere that's not in this list, then you would just have to fill in additional information. But it's kind of nice that they have that search bar now. Um, and then so fill out those. If you don't know your exact GPA, that's OK. Just put an estimate, things like that. And then if you have attended more than one school, you can just click on add another college. Um, down here, this is new as well. So you can now um, attach your unofficial transcripts if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. But if you do, then it might help speed up the uh, processing um, time. And then just know that even if you do sub, um, upload your unofficial transcripts, you will need to send your official 
transcripts as well. Um, and so make sure you don't forget about that. And so official would just mean that you actually go and have it sent from the institution to UH Manila. So make sure you fill all those out. And then the final step will just be um, making sure that everything's filled out. And then if you have any exemptions for tuition purposes, most likely a lot of people are, are not gonna claim um, any of these, but if you can go ahead and look through them. And then the final step is just making sure that you check this box that you know, you filled everything out correctly. Um, and then when you put submit application, you'll be able to pay your $70 application fee. Um, I can't go into it because I haven't actually filled everything out. But um, once you get to that point, you'll be able to put in your credit card directly and they should email you um, a confirmation that they received it. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I really like the new look and feel of this application. And so, um, feel free to, to use this as you apply for the post -back certificate in special education. And if you have any other questions or concerns, you can always email me at spedinfo at hawaii.edu.